Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. It's springtime. Um, it's the end of April, and uh, even though we've had pretty early ice off back in early April in Interior Lakes, but the weather has been bloody cold. <laughs> it's been freezing. We managed to get up to the lakes um, in, around Merritt for one day, and then it just got really cold. I think some of the lakes actually refroze and uh, it snowed. So I've been kind of just hunkered down back home, but can't wait any longer. So we're gonna do some lake fishing today around the Fraser Valley. Um, this particular lake has a very similar um, stocking strategy as the urban lakes. It gets a few hundred rainbow trout into it and the average size should be around 250 grams. Oh, one just jumped. Um, but the difference is that between this and the urban lakes is that this lake and some of the other lakes around here they don't get fish as much so potentially you could get into bigger fish that were left over from last year um, i'm excited it's very pretty very quiet you can't there's nobody around except birds and it's very green so and it's very very calm that's one thing i don't like is wind so i'm hoping to get down there let's get ready and hopefully i can show you guys some rainbow trout today This will be a good chance for me to show you some of the uh, techniques I've been talking about in my tutorials. So there's float fishing and bottom fishing that I could use today. I'm gonna start with uh, the float. That's usually my go-to method first. Uh, if float doesn't work, then we can try some other methods. The very first thing I'm going to try are these um, single eggs. Just putting two or three on. Look at this. Awesome. Oh, the fish just jumped right before, beside the uh, branch over there. I think a lot of fish are actually just hiding around these uh, submerged logs. So, don't have to go too far. There. Uh, that might be too deep. We'll see. These coastal lakes don't get a whole lot of um oh there's a bite. This fish. Oh that was okay, that was fast. I was just going to say these lakes don't get a whole lot of food. So oh came off. <laughs> that was fast, that was first cast. Well, this is going to be a pretty fun day. A little further, a little closer to the log, playing with the uh, fire over here. I think it's shallow, not that deep actually. Might have to go shallower. Oh, that's a bite. That was fast. Again. They must be very hungry. Oh, there's another bite. Oh, there's another bite. Oh, there's, there's a fish. Again, I don't expect to catch any huge fish, but uh, oh, it came off again. What the heck? What the heck? My hook is barbless, but oh well. There's still, look at this. Okay, so we got, we got one, tiny like deflated egg on this see if we can get a fish on that this is way easier than i thought i thought it was going to come here show you guys you know exploring and trying to find the fish figuring this out but the fish right in front of us we're catching them <laughs> but who's complaining right okay that that one didn't work i'm actually going to lower the um shorten the depth of that float i think it's a little too deep just by a little bit So now we're down to about five feet below the surface. Oh, oh, I missed that. Oh, that was a good bite. That was a like total 
float down and actually miss that one. I'm not casting very far out either, I'm only going maybe like 50 feet. Oh, bite. There's so many fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a nicer one, hey? That's better. A little better. Oh, it came off again. What the heck? <laughs> what? Are we actually gonna land the fish today? There's three in a row now. And you can see flow fishing is definitely the way to go in this case. When there's that many debris around, you want to be... Oh, missed. <sighs> oh. oh. Oh, there's so many bites. <laughs> Lots of bites, but I gotta get a fish into the net for you guys to see. Okay, let's go a little easier this time, eh? <laughs> That's a smaller fish. The previous one I lost was much bigger. Yeah, this is definitely one of the fish that have been stocked this year. So. Okay. Oh, no. Didn't go in the net. Yeah. Okay. So one of the rainbow trout that was stocked this year. You can tell by looking at the things is very kind of rough. Um, when they first get into the lake from the hatchery, they tend to have pretty chewed up things. But over time, it's, they actually heal, so yeah, look, nice, eh? Not very big, but very, very fun. I love it, even though the fish is smaller, um, still a lot of fun. Yeah, ah, another small one, I think. Yeah. Oh, get away from that log. Oh, came off. Good. <laughs> so this is a six gram d &E float, and that's what I'm using today. Um, you don't want to go with a float that's too big because these fish are not very big. And uh, if it floats too big, they just wouldn't be able to pull it down. Um, and I got just the right amount of tungsten weight uh, used to balance the float. Just let, um, a swivel leader down to a size ball hook. So simple. Anyone can do this. And that is to take it to another fish. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, came off again. That's okay. We're just kind of releasing fish today anyways, right? That's what you want. It's a minimal amount of handling, fish handling, so these fish can survive well for other people to catch. It is a put and take fishery. You can keep these fish to eat, but um, I don't need any more fish at home, to be honest. We're just catching them for fun today. Such a perfect fishery for just kids. Ooh, bite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like that. There you go. It's another one. Roughly around 200 grams. So not very big, but so much fun, like I said earlier. Oops, it goes. <laughs>
Well, there you have it. That was a pretty good afternoon. Um, yeah, the fishing was pretty fast. I knew there would be fish here, but I didn't realize how fast I was going to get them. Literally on the first cast, I had a fish on. And in the next two hours or so since I've been here, I had a couple dozen fish. Um, that was a lot of fun. This fishery right here is the ideal fishery if you're just starting out in the springtime between April and June. It can be really, really good. And right across the Fraser Valley and Lower Mainland, there was roughly around 2,000 lakes you can choose from. So there's lots of many different options. And uh, you can come out here. You don't have to go out to an urban fishery, but look at this right here. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, so you can check out the information by going to gofishbc.com. There you can actually check the fish release updates, find out how many fish are going to each lake. And uh, yeah, just go out and pick your lake and make sure you get your freshwater fishing license as well. Very, very important because these fisheries are funded by the revenues um, from your fishing license. So I um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions regarding this, make sure you leave it on the comment. I'm always happy to answer your questions and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, good luck fishing.